Yo, what's up guys? Steve Reese here again from Does It Doom where we feature weekly guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner, doom, and sludge metal genre. So if that's your kind of thing, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more weekly doom content. In today's lesson, we're gonna be breaking down Two Urns by Windhand, killer track off Grief's Infernal Flower. Your guitar is gonna to need to be tuned to C standard, so get your shit tuned up. I'm gonna zoom in, do a quick demo, then we're gonna come back and break it down riff by riff. Check it. Right, guys so as I mentioned in the introduction your guitar is going to need to be tuned to C standard this song is played in the key of F minor with the root located at the fifth fret on the sixth string if your guitar was in standard tuning this would be the key of A minor but because we're tuned down two full steps we're in F minor most of the song uses the harmonic minor scale in terms of its riff construction so the first riff in the song goes like this You'll notice the first time through, I'm really accentuating the notes and hitting this open string. So that's sort of while Garrett's playing it by himself. And then as the band comes in, you pick up pace a little bit and you get rid of that open note and it goes. So in terms of the intervals, you've got the root, the major seventh, the minor third, the major second, and the perfect fourth. So again, the first time through without any drums. Then as the rest of the band comes in. Then the next riff, again using the harmonic minor scale, goes like this. So 
So again, you've got the root, the major seventh, the minor sixth, and the perfect fifth. Then you're sliding all the way up to that perfect fourth. Down here, I'm doing the power chord at the first fret, then just doing the open sixth string. So then you've kind of got the solo break, which goes sort of four repetitions of the first riff, and then four repetitions of that second riff, and the solo's played over that, and we'll just talk about the solo a bit later. So after the solo break, we come in with this riff. So again, harmonic minor. So that interval is the root and the major seventh. Then we've got, which is the minor third and the major second. Then you've got this interval and the major third. Now the major third is not from the harmonic minor scale, uh, but it's a note we've talked about plenty of times that is a very dissonant note when used in a minor context. One of those four intervals of doom I talk about, so major third. And again, you're an octave up, but you're using the minor sixth and the perfect fifth. That's the first time through. So the second time through, you're gonna use the flat seventh interval, which is from the natural minor scale. So again, you're sort of seeing this blending of the natural minor scale with the harmonic minor scale. You've got the major third thrown in there, just a lot of dissonance kind of working together to sound really cool. So then you've got the outro to the song, which is a really cool riff. Has sort of starts out slow um, with, a, with an extra open note, kind of like the intro riff. So this riff sort of blends, again, the harmonic minor scale and the natural minor scale, sort of using intervals from both. So you've got the root and the major seventh. Being that open note in between, which is a fifth. And there you've got the minor third and the major second. Here you've got the major seventh and the flat seventh. Then you hit a couple open notes on the sixth string. And then you hit a couple of the um, sort of octave power chord. So I'm, I'm going twice open, just the sixth string. And I've got these uh, fifth string, seventh fret held down, the root. And the second, the, the third and fourth time I hit it, I'm hitting both those notes.
then the riff starts to speed up and that one kind of open note goes away and sort of more sliding, less direct picking. So those are the majority of the riffs in the song. Now to talk about the solo section, happens early in the song, basically uses the minor pentatonic scale with a note from the natural minor th scale thrown in towards the end. Uh, you've got a couple, you've sort of got the main pentatonic box with the lower extension played an octave up. So you've got the root of the 17th fret. He's also using this uh, sort of extension. So, all together. And towards the end of the solo, he's going to use this major second, which is from the natural minor scale. Um, and sort of to improvise through the solo a little bit, not playing it exactly like he does, he uses, it's really classic uh, volume four style Iomi to me, using just a lot of trills, right in the, those bass pentatonic patterns. Uh, you've got some slur licks, some um, sort of nice bends and unison bends. So Garrett uses a wah on this solo, and it goes something like this. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the lesson. If you enjoyed it, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because I make these lessons every week. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of this one. Let me know if there's any other songs by Windhand or any other Stoner Doom band that you'd like to see broken down riff by riff. I'm always up for taking requests. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Does It Doom. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your friend.